Do you have a crush and you don't want to screw things up? Here are the 5 most important things to avoid if you want to win your crush. Don't you dare make these mistakes. If you are, you're ruining your chances by 100%. Trying to win your crush. Yeah, this may sound like a paradox, but the truth is, the harder you try, the weirder you'll be around them. See, when you try too hard, your crush can sense that. This can make them think two things. One, they might think you have an agenda. Imagine yourself in your crush's shoes for a second. Think about that one time someone really liked you but for some reason you didn't like them back. They follow you around, they show up where you are, they open doors for you, or maybe they say really nice things about you. In the end, you rejected them and you want to avoid them even more because you feel something is off. This is exactly what happens when you are overly too try hard. The better approach is just to give them space and wait for them to initiate something or hint something. Well, if they never do, then you know they were never interested to begin with and you can move on. Two, doing what they expect. Speaking of not being too eager, you don't want to do exactly what 90% of people are already doing to win their attention. Perhaps some people enjoy being put on a pedestal, but they won't be interested in you. They may continue to talk to you, but for different reasons to use you for validation and to make them feel better about themselves. So, it's better to be yourself and treat them like a regular person, not someone you have to impress or make them feel special. This brings us to our next point. Putting them on a pedestal. Stop making them seem more important than they are, especially if you don't know them well yet. How do you know if they are worth being put on a pedestal? If you think your crush is perfect and way better than you, it can make you feel like you're not good enough. And when you feel that way, you might start acting unsure of yourself around them. And they can tell you're not feeling confident. Remember, we are human after all. And it's normal to have strong emotions for another person. When that happens, it's better to see your crush as a friend you like, not someone way above you. That way, you can have a more equal and genuine connection. Revealing your feelings too fast. When you do this, again, two things will happen. One, they will immediately think you're needy and want to avoid you, especially when you don't know them well, and you tell them you like them. They may think you only like them for their looks and not who they are. Two, some of them keep you around and string you along because they just want validation. So don't ever make this common mistake unless you enjoy being their backup plan. Sending them multiple text messages. If you're texting your crush and they don't answer quickly, it's not a good idea to send lots of messages in a row. This can make you seem too needy and desperate. They might not reply if you do that. The infamous negging. You might be wondering, what is that? Well, negging is when you say something mean or teasing to someone to make them feel bad about themselves. That sounds like a dumb strategy, but believe me when I say this, a lot of people make this mistake unconsciously and don't even realize it. For example, someone might say, you're pretty cool for someone who's not into fashion, but your outfit is interesting, I guess. Why do people do this? Well, when someone uses negging on a crush, they poke fun at their insecurities and it creates a challenge for the other person to prove themselves or gain their attention. Kind of like the Uno reverse card. But this is a very toxic way to win someone over because you're exploiting someone else's vulnerability. Generally, this will only backfire because it can hurt their feelings and they might feel upset or self-conscious. You'll only create a negative impression and they might not want to be around you. So don't do it. Not honoring your self-worth. If you've told them you like them and they tell you they just want to be friends, it's a good idea to stop trying. Why? Because if you keep texting them after they say no, it means you have feelings for them but they don't. This creates an unfair power dynamic that will only turn toxic in the long run. If you keep doing this, they might only keep you around in case they need something or to gain validation from you. Did you find these tips helpful? Are you guilty of any of these mistakes? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. And if you think someone might benefit from this video, don't hesitate to share it with them. Until next time, thanks for watching.